Oh, they restarted for me. That's good. I didn't have to make a decision. <gasps> There's more! There's more! Is this just like one of the alternate things, or is this... Psst. Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! I, I kind of want to... Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. Here I get. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? I feel like that door might close behind me, so I'm no. going to... Never mind, you're not a dork. Okay, that door didn't close. Whoa, what was that? Ooh, graphical glitches, my favorite. I am actually gonna go in, don't worry if you were. <laughs> Thank god, of course I'm gonna go in. Five, six, one. This is quite the journey. This is a bigger journey than the confusion ending, honestly. <laughs> okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley <laughs> Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Whoa. I can't get past the chairs. Whoa. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever <sighs> I want. Experiences cool. like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Oh. Sounds fun. Sorry, I do want to just explore every nook and cranny. I love this game. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Agile force. Dynamically streamlined human capital. Okay. Did it win that? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bad fan. <laughs> oh my god, the Last of Us shade. I love it. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Good times. Just a bunch of screenshots. Presumably from the original. I played the demo, I love the demo. Smile because it happened. I cheated to get that achievement in the original. I never got that achievement in the original. I'm gonna get all the achievements legitimately this time. I'm going to not play this game for 10 years after I'm done playing it as much as I want of it. Creator surprisingly down to earth. Fifty percent off designer hat, but a small creature owns the other half. <sighs> Why does it look 
old. <laughs> These props are great. Stanley Parable, the old tough choices. Los Angeles Times. In loving memory, little Stanley. Oh, that is a pet. I haven't seen that before. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. I love this. It's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Door open. New door opened. Which ones did it win? Yeah, one of those ones. Sorry, I'm stalling so much, but I'm just really appreciating the atmosphere. This is the new content I wanted. The original remake was done here. We're going to be going here later. I can't wait. <sighs> right, before the 2013 thing, it was a... Is that what this is going to be talking about? It was a Half-Life mod, right? Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. This is making a point. I'm not sure what exactly it's pointing to yet, but I can tell it's making a point. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back I told you would go to here. have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? What the hell? What is this? Did I break it? Oh god, I feel like I broke it. Oh no, I broke the game. 
I don't like it when I break the game. This is not fun. God damn it. What's this? What's down here? Oh no! Oh god no! It works. Steam they get... is a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick to. Exactly, that's what I was wondering. Like, where do you put the new content in the game like this when they announced it? I guess this is how they just kind of stick it in the corners. That's the way you can do it. It works for them. <laughs> I love the whole mood of this area. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Yeah. Nostalgia glasses and all, it's it's a real thing. I think it was pretty nice though. Good game. Whoa. <laughs> What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. Can if I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, I don't skip you'll have it, zipped right past it. It's what the players it. have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. <laughs> no more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. 
Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. Some of the dialogue in the original game is kind of like this, especially in the uh, which is why confusion I say ending. The story and the choice, okay. or what have you, and therefore, by the... Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video one. games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That, means that is nothing. to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a mon- <laughs> Well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips <laughs> to go poof, and it's all over. This Ooh, I can't fun. wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll the edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review. Maybe I'm so conflicted, and situation. that's a really beautiful yes, thing to I do. That's quite I can't decide whether or not to hit it. They'll simply grant this particular user the ability... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That <laughs> last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's... Well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wait, where did the door go? Isn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button. Uh, anywhere other than the skip button. Yeah, I don't know if I should press it. I like it listening to him ramble on, but also I want to skip. Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is there any no. possibility that you could, say, slam your body into the wall until enough damage is done for you to be able to leave? Please, I'll take any option at all. I'm asking you to work with me here. There's I so much dialogue. We need a door. We need a door God. of some kind. I can work with any kind of door, as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I'm, I'm going to step away for just a moment, and I'm going to try to find us a door. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way, I promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't it's press be the skip button. Please, 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 please do not press the skip button. Just wait here. Wait here for me. I keep thinking he's going to stop press talking, the skip but he doesn't. Button. Got it? Yes, good. I'll be right back. Okay, that's it. I can press it.
Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe. I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. such fun feedback. new content. Why was it so important for me Yeah, to uh, as an problem? artist online, Why you do Cookie have Nine's to ignore some of the negative so feedback. Much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I have no idea who they are. What would it ever really matter? But here I am. I'm fixating on every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me. It's not a good way of living, narrator. One of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child. Wild and impulsive. I can't help myself. I can't stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury to alter and to change and to break anything unbroken. If only it pleases this one Art will be what it is. made a single negative like... comment. Flaws and all. Serve? For whose benefit is this? And here I am now, stuck in a room, waiting for you to press this button. God, this is just a big metaphor for the creative process, isn't I'm it? I'm going to be stuck all alone, and that I had the power to prevent it, it all from happening. If only I'd held my tongue. It's all out of my control now. Just you. Just your decision as to exactly when you're going to make me suffer. To leave me all alone? Surely you will. I don't doubt it. Surely you'll press that button again, leaving me here. And surely you'll put your own desire to see what's next ahead of my need for company, for companionship. No. Surely oh, you'll oh. not be moved by my howls of fitful anxiety that you sit with me and just stay here. Oh, no, no, no. I know you too well. You'll be leaving me again. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my it's head. Living. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion that matter so much me to me? Of I've never even met the Cookie guy, Nine. Like, I have no idea. I feel so bad are. when I can't fix what the problem. It really matter, but here. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I. I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there that. to be a vessel through which my words were moving. I don't talk to it myself if I don't think someone's I listening. Stand. That's why I got a camera the story. and None let's of playing, anymore. even though I'm not I'll great, great at it. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. Like it's One single thing I need, and God, it's I nice can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying. God, that's I need also to the art metaphor too. Me. Like because maybe Stanley, you don't want to be affected by negative maybe, feedback. Then maybe it means I'm like maybe I'm not just a. The fact that like as artists we want people to look at our stuff. Perhaps yes. But also we don't want Perhaps them to I'm criticize scared it. This whole time. But if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. 
I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward. God, this got so much I can tell realer I than I expected it to be. I don't want to say darker because that feels corny. You but, and yes, it's it is literally quite dark right I now, and also completely here. thematically dark. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, and I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? You can see what this means to me. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. I feel restored, and already I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my heart to think, yeah, that's to the think only of option. returning to such a talking. Calm. Let us sit in silence together here for just a moment. Let us anticipate it. Let us welcome it. Let us not run from it. <sighs> that is nice. It's been a stressful day today. This is a nice way to cool down from it. Thank you, the Stanley Parable.